consider a sample of 47 football games where 27 of them were won by the home team. Use a 0.05 significance level to test the claim that the probability that the home team wins is greater than one half. So looking at the question, we want to first identify the claim. And the claim states that the probability that the home team wins is greater than one half. Now, the first thing we want to do is identify the given information using the p-value method. Well, the first thing is, is that the sample size is given to be 47. So n is equal to 47. The point estimate is x over the sample size of n. And we can see here that 27 of them were won by the home team. So that would be 27 over 47. Okay, and then we can see that within the claim, it says that the home team wins is greater than one half. So that means that the point estimate in the null hypothesis would equal 0 0.50. And the complement would be then 0 0.50. So let's take a look at the requirements. So there were 47 that were randomly selected. And there is a fixed number of independent trials. And the requirements of n times p and n times q must be greater than or equal to 5. And so since n is 47 and then p and q are 0 0.50, well, 47 times 0 0.5 is 23.5, and it's greater than 5 for both. And so therefore, the three requirements are satisfied. Now let's take a look at the claim and the opposite of the claim. Well, again, the claim we said is the proportion is greater than one half. So that means P is greater than 0 0.5. And therefore, the opposite of the claim would then be that P is less than or equal to 0 0.5. Okay, so now we're going to use the claim and the opposite of the claim to identify the null and the alternative hypothesis. So we know that the null hypothesis always contains the equality. And so therefore, the equality is in the opposite of the claim. So therefore, p is going to equal 0 0.5. And then the claim is going to be within the, null, the alternative hypothesis where p is greater than 0 0.5. Now we can go ahead and answer that question here. So we know that p is equal to 0 0.5 and p is greater than 0 0.5, which is c. And there's our answer. Now let's identify the test statistic. So before we identify that, let's determine what is the distribution, whether it is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution. And the alternative tells us that. And since it's a greater than symbol, then we have a right-tailed test. OK, and then what is the significance level? Well, it tells us in the problem that they want us to test it at 0 0.05. So therefore, alpha is going to equal 0 0.05. And now we can determine what is the test statistic for this proportion. Well, we know that the sample size n is equal to 47. We also know that the point estimate is 27 over 47. We know that p is equal to 0 0.5. And we know that q is equal to 0 0.5. Now let's go ahead and plug it in to our formula. So the point estimate of 27 over 47 minus 0 0.50 divided by the square root of 0 0.50 times 0 0.50 over n, which is 47. And then we're going to approximate this result to two decimal places. So using our calculator, we have 
parentheses 27 divided by 47 minus 0 0.50 and then divide that by the square root of left parentheses 0 0.50 times 0 0.50 right parentheses and divide that by 47 and that gives us the test statistic here So we're going to round that to two decimal places, and we get 1.02. So let's put that in here for our result, 1.02. Check our answer, and there's our result. Now we need to identify the p-value for the hypothesis test. So with the p-value, we need to draw and label the bell curve. So we have our bell curve with a mean of 0. We know that our test statistic is 1.02, so that is to the right of 0. And we know it's a right tail test, so we're looking for the p-value and we're shading that area to the right. So to find the p-value, we want to find the probability of when the test statistic is greater than or equal to 1.02. And then we're going to round that to three decimal places. So we're going to open up StatCrunch to use the normal calculator. So we're going to go to Stat, Calculator, scroll down to Normal. So we're going to change the inequality symbol to point to the right so that it's greater than or equal to, and then put in a test statistic of 1.02. And then we get our p-value rounded to three decimal places is 0 0.154. So let's go ahead and put that in here, 0 0.154. There's our p-value, and now we need to identify the conclusion. So let's take a look at the p-value and compare it to the significance level. So the p-value is 0 0.154. The significance level is 0 0.05. So we can see that the p-value is greater than the significance level. Now, if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, we reject the null hypothesis. If the p-value is greater than the significance level, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And in this case, we're going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. And then we need to go back and look at the claim. And the claim contains uh, the greater than symbol. So we do not have the equality in the claim. So, when we take a look at the four decisions for our conclusion, the first and second one says it does not include equality where the last two does, so we're going to eliminate the last two statements. And we fail to reject the null, so therefore we are going to use that statement. So we would say that there is sufficient, there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim followed by the original claim. So we're going to say we fail to reject the null hypothesis and there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim that the probability of the home team winning is greater than one half. Check our answer and there is our result.